Do you want to see the agent you were meant to be? Knowledgeable, successful, and building your own business? The problem is most agents... One of the things that was big with this uh, commercial was the sound effects. I really did a lot with the sound effects in this one, just to make sure that everything hit, make sure everything made, um, you know, had impact to it. We wanted it to have this very fast paced vibe. The music choice played a big part in that. I also wanted to make sure that we had the same energy with the transitions. So I was the director of photography for this project and I also did the editing, but I didn't write the script and I also was not the director. Knowledgeable, successful, and building your own business. The problem is most agents don't know how to get there, don't have a system to do this reliably, or the coaching to help them get there. So yeah, everything, so like we had like this whole, we were trying to go for that, uh, like, constant moving camera like like all these shots are like motion shots like we have everything like on a gimbal for the most part and then so here we had like the, the, the the problem. she's walking here and then it's like supposed to be do this reliably for supposed to be this clean white transition now she's inside of the uh building to do this reliably for the coach little air whoosh to kind of left to right to simulate the motion of that actual effect and uh, let's go back let's actually look at what these effects are that i'm using for most of these, I did, I did like uh, slides. This is called slide down. Uh, so you can kind of see the motion of the camera goes from, goes down, sliding, sliding into the next, uh, sliding into the next shot. And I think I did the same thing here, a slide down, a slide right. The problem That's pretty much what most of the transitions work. We just wanted to have that quick motion vibe. Almost as, imagine like a pan whip, like a camera pan whip or like a, you know, like mo camera motion movement uh, to motivate it, which you could totally do uh, on set, but we just did it for the most. We, we essentially did that here. For That's what I was supposed to be, but I think when I was editing, it didn't come out right. Cause I, as you can see here, that the door frame is here. So I was crossing here to basically make the transition. And then the next shot was supposed to pick up from uh, like the other uh, edge, the edge of the other door frame. But I don't think it like played right, so I added a. I think this is a what is this a slide a slide right for the coaching to, to help. help cover up the mistake when I was shooting and to you know still sell it. Help them get there. We want to change that. Because another one there. Then was another slide a pan right that time. The motion's a little bit different. Become the. And these are all built into DaVinci Resolve. Uh, they work. I'm not crazy a fan of them. I just don't care for like the whole little dupli duplication like how like the it duplicates the to try to sell the effect that's kind of how they do it so you see like the little like you know mirrored look that happens i'm not crazy fan of that but when you need something quick it works Become add in the sound effect to help you know sell it more and this is all built in this is all built in. This is a three line drop. You find that over here, effects panel, uh, titles. Uh, should be right over here. Three line drop, yeah. And I just changed the color on it. So you can you know, tweak things and whatnot. But sometimes the stuff inside of DaVinci Vault is all built in. It's pretty good. You were meant to be at a house. Added a sound effect to it. Added a sound effect to everything. What's the home real estate here? <laughs> all the motion now. Another one, a little soft. Uh, air swooshes mainly like cinematic swooshes air swooshes does a lot of what i use for, for to sell the transitions in and out it's kind of how you know you got a sound effect to match the you were meant to be you have a sound effect to match the transition coming in and a sound effect to match it coming out you were meant to be I and then here i switch them up so they don't always sound the same you know you don't want it to sound be using the same one the whole time it gets noticeable we show you how to close consistently by giving you the tools and the training you need to build your business a lot of use of b-roll it just helps to keep it interesting B you definitely need to use b-roll i didn't always <laughs> like using b-roll in my career i guess i was just being lazy but using b-roll definitely ha helps to add energy to your uh video it helps to you know communicate it break it up keep it interesting and it also just helps people to understand what you're talking about because if you just have the person talking the whole time you don't visualize what it is they're talking about until you actually see it uh on screen with b-roll close consistent by giving you the tools and the training you need to build your business on your terms and how's the home 
there's not necessarily a rhythm to it it just i just kind of fill it out sometimes i have a rhythm to like the beat of the music i mean you should do that but i don't necessarily like live and die by that rule it's more of a i just kind of fill out the cadence of the speaker i think i tend to go off the rhythm of who's talking in, in some cases when it comes to b-roll try to match it to what's being said versus trying to match it to the beat of the uh, music unless there was no one talking then I probably would make sure I'm matching the beat up a little bit more but when someone's talking I tend to follow the tempo of, the, of what they're talking about or their cadence and speech as my uh, as my timer as my timing for my b-roll by giving you the tools and the training you need to build your business on your terms and house the it's like your business on your turn yeah 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 this one your turn yeah, yeah. and house the little pause in there give it a little bit of breath because we're transitioning to, to the next speaker the home you can choose to be a squad agent or boss agent squad i then use the same yeah i use i can see it right here i use the same cinematic swoosh i just reversed it so this home, one you is normal and then this one same one but i reversed it a squad agent or make it sound a little bit different it's not crazy noticeable but I again just figured in my mind I was like if I just uh, do that it'll be more of a subconscious thing it sounds different so you know was it the best choice huh I don't know I found a time crunch so I just needed to do that <laughs> awesome agent. squad agents have competitive splits as well as transaction coordination I didn't have any sound effects here I should have put some sound effects there. <laughs> Boot camp, accountability options. That was so noticeable and I'm pointing it out. I don't know why I didn't. In coordination, uh, boot camp, accountability options, and access to leads to start growing sustainably. Many agents start off. If the uh, vocals seem to be off, I couldn't find the original. Well, I couldn't find the, um, the edited version that I had here. It's like not linking. I don't know where it is. So I grabbed... Um, another vocal track that we did in one of the edits and put it on so the just so that way we could hear for the video so it might be off a little bit office squad agents and then move up to boss agents boss agents are those who are ready to own their own business they have the opportunity to i like that one the effect i use is like a digital glitch so i found some cinematic uh, i found some glitch sound effects to help uh, accentuate the transition on their own business they have the opportunity to earn a hundred percent commission for it is layered there's a couple of different sounds because of the timing of it i wanted to make sure that it covered it just that one and then yeah so so I wanted to make sure that it followed because like it it like it was still moving there. It wasn't done. So I wanted it to still have like something go going. I didn't want to be like, oh, a, a glitch effect. And then it just stopped out of nowhere. I wanted to kind of like layer it and have it keep going. Let's see here. And that, that little motion has that effect. I don't think sound effects necessarily have to always make perfect sense. Like I think I was just like, I, I need to put something there. Some type of beeping noise to kind of like we're still in that digital glitch vibe so let's keep that consistent the little motion is making it's just a sound effect and it was leaving so as it was going out i did digital glitch no, digital glitch noises again it's different ones i think each one was different this one says 17 that one says 13 yeah and then like a cinematic swoosh out so i didn't use the same exact one Not necessarily perfect timing on that, but it helps to sell it. When you're watching it quick, it works. Let's watch it in context. Own business. They have the opportunity to earn a 100% commission for a small monthly fee and a 395 admin fee per transaction. Even better, yes. agents on your so, yeah. 95 admin fee per transaction trying to mix up the swooshes, uh, swooshes as much as possible i just move on to some other things here uh, just a lot of a lot of text agents on your team text only text. pay 99 dollars. you know i do a lot of uh, solid color things in these type of videos because this is more of a recruiting video so they need uh the eight their agents that they want to recruit to have a lot of information so you have like these 
video brochures is almost kind of how I think of it, like a like a pamphlet, but it's a, in video form. So you want to show all, you want to have, you know, your B-roll footage, but then there's a lot of information. So you got a lot of text that needs to come on screen. Just on your team. So just finding different ways to make it look interesting without just putting text on the screen, you know. Only pay 90. So I just found one. Um, I darkened, so I threw this, this here was like a uh, solid color that has uh, opacity on it. Uh, at f almost 50 percent i did a nice little fade in here and just pull it in like agents that on it doesn't just come in instantly better agents on you could also do that a different way i probably could do like a cross fade or something like that. agents on your but crosses I mean, agents on your team off. only pay me. that would also work i just always just grab grab the side and fade it like that. It's just kind of how I do it. Agents on your team only pay $99 a month. We give you the power. To and then I just try to use different, just to kind of keep it interesting, using different type of uh, effects here and there. A month. Now this one is, is slow. It is not lining up because my computer's slowing down here. I'm running a bunch of stuff, so it's probably can't handle all of it. Let's bring it down to half. Draw Mom, more. We give you the so it's like, I like this effect. I use it, I use it a lot. Not in this video, but I just tend to use it a lot. But I like it. It's like a, it's just kind of cool. We give you the Mom, we give you. So that effect is necessary the best. I think I was like a, on a time crunch trying to get this done, and I was just like grabbing stuff I had I would probably do something different more like a ripple sound or like a water I I, I don't know you don't want to make things over cheesy either we give and I try to be careful even with the transitions I use you don't want to make something we like, give you you don't want it to look cheesy like it might look okay now but then it'll be outdated if you overdo it so I try not to overdo it with transitions use the power to grow your own team and attract top agents we provide an all-inclusive CRM weekly train keep it simple so like I had you know the text again still text but I, was, I didn't want to keep using you know the same effect with like this uh horizontal slide in text all the time i could have done it i could have did the solid color thing again but i try to keep it some variety but i don't I also want it to be cohesive so it doesn't look like i'm just completely changing the whole style of the video midway so just kind we of provide simple, an all just a simple uh fade in on the text you know all-inclusive crm weekly training back office support office space because at the same time it is also about getting the information out there you don't want to be distracting as a video editor either so if people are still watching at this point they're here for the information anyway so i don't need to be heavy-handed i kind of did that more so in the beginning the beginning is a lot more heavy-handed i would say but that's you know you catch people's attention at that point here they're they're here and you still want to keep it interesting but i'm just saying i don't think you necessarily need to be going crazy with all these effects if it doesn't serve the video so for all agents so you'll have everything you need we're not just collecting a check we're working there's not a lot of information here so it's not a lot of uh text being on screen the text really is for the information points the information heavy points this is now more of the uh culture the, the feeling the vibe so the uh video clips the bureau can handle that part of the storytelling we're not just collecting the check we are working on your behalf to coach you help you gain knowledge and build wealth so you can create the life that you want Whether you know i don't think that i could have put text on the screen but i don't really know what it would have, what it would have done for the video i mean it, i could have done it to do it you know but i Think that that's fine based on what he was saying talking about the lifestyle the environment they work in to help you uh you know just let the b-roll footage handle the part of so that part of storytelling so you can create the life that you want whether you're just starting out as an agent or you're an experienced veteran in the industry house to home real estate has something for you join us today to become the and then here i did the uh i think i have it inside this is a uh, compound clip Open in timeline. Yeah, I had a uh, drop warp here. I wanted to have some kind of cool effect on the uh, graphic. It just kind of makes it look a little bit more high end on in a fast way. Cause you know, you could do a whole VFX, you know, type of thing with graphics. And I wanted to do something that like was like 
animated it had a lot of, a lot of motion because it kind of like makes it seem like I did more than that I actually did <laughs> basically that's what I'm trying to say so I did that all the the components of this in card are inside of here but I wanted to then have all that there and then have this transition here so without having to worry about all those layers those video layers and one thing I like to do, I like using light leaks. I, that's the only light leak I use. I didn't overdo it. You could use light leaks for transitions too, but I feel like it works for the ending. Just kind of like burn in. For you, join us today to become the agent it's you were meant. It's a little extra flair to it. I didn't necessarily. I don't think I necessarily needed needed it either. I could just thing for you. Join us today to become the. Done that, but it just for you. Join us today to feels a little bit more uh, cohesive when you bring it in that way. So it's just kind of something like for you. Join us just into the ending of the video. Thing for you. Join us today to become the agent. Now that's a bra. I think that's why I agent that. you were meant to be. And then just fade it up. If you have any questions about uh, some of the things I did in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see even more DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks in videos like this. Until next time, peace.